Kelly met up with the mother as she left court after spending about 30 minutes in this court hearing. Do you have anything to say about the charges? No, ma'am. Kathleen Shahada leaves court after pleading guilty to international parental kidnapping. She did not want to speak to us about her five-year-old daughter that she took to Spain. She is doing amazing. I mean, she is just, she's smart. She's full of energy. She loves going to school. I mean, she's just an, an awesome awesome little girl. These are images taken over the last year. Anthony Gentili has full custody of his daughter. We first interviewed him back in February after he was desperately searching for his little girl. Him and his ex shared custody. Back in July of 2018, she and the child disappeared. The FBI got involved. Federal documents state that prosecutors believe she traveled to Mexico City, Colombia, and then Madrid before ending up on a tiny island off the coast of Spain. Anthony spent about $10,000 on a private investigator. He said it was very expensive and nerve-wracking and tough to deal with different countries with different laws. It was really like all the logistics of, you know, between here and there, um, the red tape, it is, it's not easy. It really wasn't. He says he was in constant anguish. In the back of my mind, I just, I had this feeling that I was never going to see my daughter again, but it just, it didn't stop me. And I was just relentless and you know, I just I kept pushing forward. The mother was eventually arrested and voluntarily surrendered to authorities. Previously, her attorney said that she wants to resolve this issue, move forward and put this matter behind her. Anthony says the situation has made for some difficult discussions. I had to keep it simplified to where she understood it, but I'm never going to paint an awful negative picture uh, about her, no matter what my feelings and thoughts and opinions are. And he's delighted to have his little girl home. She's just a, a blessing. And I'm, I'm just, I look at her every day and I just cannot believe that, like, she's here. <laughs> so. Shahada is expected to be sentenced January 7th. In Norfolk, I'm Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.